I'll write this another guitar. It's the Ibanez, the Ibanez, I don't know how you pronounce this, RG series. What's really neat about this though that I just noticed is made in Korea. It's a wood, pretty much like a, I don't know what, I call that, I call that yellow wood. I don't know what, what they do. It had this in the case, but I can't figure that out for nothing. It looks like potentially it would go in there. But I don't see how you would make it work. I just don't understand that. I'm definitely gonna have to ask my boss about that one up. I'm gonna leave that to the side for now, but what I wanted to show you, I'll hook this up to the amp. You can see I'm a really good guitar player. See? You can see it's doing a volume button there. I can't tell that this button does a whole lot. It's doing something. It's giving a little it's giving a little it's giving a little volume as well and, and I noticed this button has five different uh, there's a little scratch in there this has got five different adjustments That's really doing much. It's doing a little something. It's got a little scratch in there. And I can notice it there. This one here is real obvious. When you turn, you turn the volume up with that. But like I said, this one's got one. It's one, two, three, four, five different sets. And it comes with this case. It's an Ibanez case. Let me turn this off, unplug this, before you know it, I'm going to be a pro, I'm going to be a pro guitar player, man, I'm going to be the best, be the best I can be, man, um, I'm going to just set that back in there, and it's a pretty blue case. Like I say, made in Korea. I know from my experience that this is uh that's the that's the uh, that's the important thing that needs to be told about this. It's a RG three twenty FM. I can't show you the serial number, but I will tell you. I can show you all but the last two digits. See, looks like C O two one two five three. I don't know if you can see. There's a RG three twenty FM. And I don't know if you can really see it. It doesn't show up very good. I think you should be able to see it there. So it says made in Korea. So that tells me that bad boy's got a little age on it. RG series I've been in. Look at that nice case. Nice hard case. It was made for it. Looks like it's probably been with it for a while. That's that. I've been as. I've been as. I've been as. I don't even know how to pronounce it. The, the guitar moves in there a little bit. I will put bubble wrap in there to, to secure it good for shipping. Um, I made a video one day. We use these guitar boxes. There. Here's one right here, actually. This is an acoustic box. But these are the guitar boxes we use. We buy them from Uline. This is a 20 by 8 by 50. It says it's 275 pound test. Of course, we pack good in there. The uh, the the ones that the acoustic, I mean the ones that the electric guitars like this one will go in. I think are 45. I think 45 by 18 by 6. That's a 50 by 20 by 8 for the acoustics. We put bubble wrap in the bottom, along with brown paper padding underneath. Um, and then paper all around, paper, air pockets, bubble wrap all around. Like I said, in the instance of this one, I'll put a bubble wrap inside just to keep that thing from moving at all. And um, we pack guitars right. We really, I made a video one day about how to do it. I'm, I, maybe I can do that again one day and make a better video, um, but I'll work on that. But uh, maybe I can sell one of these and I'll show you how, how I ship them.